Hello and welcome to Beyond Unknown. Today in this episode, we'll be looking at some ideas that seek to explain the existence of the cold spot in the cosmic microwave background. If you are interested to find out, then stick around till the end of this video, and while you're at it, don't forget to press that big thumbs up button. Now without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Cosmological models available today predict that the universe came into existence 13.8 billion years ago after the Big Bang. During its earlier years, the universe was filled with a big, opaque cloud of hot plasma that prevented the formation of atoms. After about 380,000 years, the universe finally began to see a drop in temperatures, with much of the energy released from the Big Bang being converted to light. This gleaming light, first discovered during the 1960s, can be seen by astronomers as the cosmic microwave background. One interesting finding regarding the CMB that caught the scientists' attention was the small fluctuations in temperature, which is believed to provide us an insight into the early universe. Of particular interest is a large spot in the CMB, referred to as the CMB cold spot, which is cooler than its neighboring afterglow. After conducting numerous tests and studies of the CMB's temperature fluctuations over the decades, a team of scientists has recently confirmed the finding of the largest cold spots in the CMB afterglow, the Eridanus supervoid, that may possibly serve to explain the existence of CMB cold spots after all this time. An international team of researchers, namely the Dark Energy Survey, comprising a total of 300 scientists from 25 institutions in seven countries, conducted the research. The team of researchers was led by Andreas Kovacs, an astrophysicist with the Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias, IAC, and the University of Laguna in Tenerife, Spain. On December 17, 2021, the results of their research, titled The DES View of Eridanus Supervoid, appeared in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Eridanus Supervoid Let's first of all look into what a void actually is. Also referred to as dark space, voids are large empty spaces that contain little or no galaxies and are present between filaments, which are the largest scale structures in the universe. They are generally defined as areas in the universe that lack normal matter, like dust, gas, or galaxies, and also contain less dark matter compared to galaxy clusters. Voids generally occupy a space of up to 30 to 300 million light years. Any void larger than that, defined by the absence of rich superclusters, is called a supervoid. While these areas are held together by the force of mutual attraction, i.e. gravity, they are also spreading outward possibly due to an undetected but theorized force called dark energy. Located in the constellation Eridanus, approximately 1.8 billion light-years away, the Eridanus supervoid is a theoretical underdensity in space, where the concentrations of galactic objects were 30% less than the surrounding cosmic region. The very heart of this void is located at a distance of 2 billion light-years from Earth, crowning it as the dominant underdensity in our cosmic neighborhood. Utilizing the data extracted from Dark Energy Survey, the team of scientists began creating a map of dark matter in the same direction as the CMB cold spot. They also used the mass of this dark matter as a gravitational lens, a phenomenon in which the powerful gravity of a massive space object disrupts and amplifies the light coming from behind it. The DM map was constructed with the help of co-author Niall Jeffrey, an astrophysicist with the Université de Paris and University College London. In a Fermilab press release, he said, This map of dark matter is the largest ever such map that's been created. We have been able to map out dark matter over a quarter of the southern hemisphere. The new maps, coupled with prior studies of the underdensity of galaxies in the area, helped to confirm the presence of an underdensity in terms of dark matter in the same region. This has fortunately been able to prove that a supervoid in the Eridanus constellation is the same as what was theorized. CMB cold spot could also be the cause of this supervoid. Its relationship with dark energy the significance of this latest research is also tied down to another mysterious space spectacle, which is the characteristic and existence of dark energy. As mentioned previously, it is this marvelous amount of force that negates gravity and drives the expansion of the cosmos. While its prediction was first made by Einstein in his theory of general relativity, it was not until 1920 that the expansion of the cosmos was first demonstrated by Edwin Hubble, the same person after whom the Hubble Space Telescope was named. After it was first discovered, the actual mystery around this whole concept gained momentum in the 1990s, when surveys like the Hubble Deep Fields revealed that during the last 3 billion years, cosmic expansion had been growing at an increasing pace. This unexplained growth led to many theories and ideas explaining what could be driving it, be it some variation of general relativity or an undiscovered force. 
If more large-scale tests of the universe are conducted by different collaborations within the scientific community like DES, we can hope to find out more about dark energy, its properties, influence, appearance, etc. Because of the presence of voids in space between galactic bodies, there is an ongoing tug-of-war between the cosmic expansion and gravitational forces that have led to some of the voids becoming even deeper. Garcia Belido, co-author and a cosmologist from IFT Madrid said, Photons or particles of light enter into a void at a time before the void starts deepening and leave after the void has become deeper. This process means that there is a net energy loss in that journey. That's called the integrated Sachs-Wolf effect. When photons fall into a potential well, they gain energy, and when they come out of a potential well, they lose energy. This is the gravitational redshift effect. Lambda CMB It is worth mentioning that this study does not resolve the overall gap between the standard cosmological model and the observed deviations in temperature in the CMB cold spot. This particular model that we're talking about now is called Lambda Cold Dark Matter or LCDM, and it serves to explain that the composition of dark matter is nothing but huge, slow-moving, cold particles that are forced apart by dark energy. This force is represented by the parameter L. To conclude, the results prove that the Eridanus supervoid exists. However, they cannot relate the presence of the cold spot with the supervoid's effect on CMB photons. In a statement, Kovacs explained, Having the coincidence of these two individually rare structures in the cosmic web and in the CMB is basically not enough to prove causality with the scientific standard. It is enough of a new element in the long history of the CMB cold spot problem that after this, people will at least be sure that there is a supervoid, which is a good thing because some people have debated that. The trouble is that typical alternative models cannot explain this discrepancy either, so if true, it might mean that we do not understand something very deep about dark energy. One of the greater things that we've achieved from this research is that it has opened doors to future research efforts. If the Lambda CDM model is proven to be true, then the CMB cold spot may just be an unusual anomaly that happens to have a huge supervoid right in front of it. But if it isn't true, then the extent to which CMB photons are red-shifted by interfering supervoids, the integrated Sachs-Wolf effect, is much more powerful than expected. If the latter theory is the correct one, then the energy density of the universe has to be dominated by something that isn't normal matter. It is one of the foundations of LCDM and other important theories about dark matter and dark energy which explain that dark matter accounts for 85% of matter in the universe and dark energy accounts for 72% of the total mass energy density. Indeed, much more extensive research and studies are required before scientists can confirm with 100% certainty which theory is correct. The good news is that many observatories will be conducting multiple pieces of research regarding this in the near future. These include NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which is a successor to Hubble, and the ESA's Euclid and Aerial Observatories. These, coupled with other amazing instruments, will help us take a closer look into space as well as in earlier times, and may possibly one day solve all the mysteries surrounding the dark universe. Well, this is it for today's video, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to show us some love by subscribing to our channel and sharing this video with your fellow astronomy geeks. If you want to hear more from us, then don't forget to press the bell icon button to receive regular notifications of our videos. How consequential do you think the finding of cold spots is? And in what ways will it pave the way for future astronomy ideas? Share with us your thoughts in the comments section down below. And until we see you in our next video, take care and goodbye.